What's happening there guys and welcome back to our channel. It's hard to believe that the original Saved by the Bell ended 22 years ago. Saved by the Bell was a unique show that addressed major societal concerns through the eyes of its young characters. The show has been off the air for over three decades now. So where is the Saved by the Bell cast these days? Let's take a peek at Saved by the Bell 1993 cast then and now 2022 to find out. Number 16, Mark Paul Goslar as Zack. Zack Morris, the Bell's leading man, saved Mark Paul Goslar. Daisy now does the timeouts, which he used to do in front of the camera. Daisy now communicates with his brick sized phone. Number 15, Mark Paul Goslar now. In some episodes of the new Saved by the Bell, Mark Paul Gosselaar, who also acts as an executive producer on the show, plays Zach. He has become the governor of California, is married to Kelly, and is the father of Mac, a Bayside High student. Since the end of Saved by the Bell, Gosselaar has been constantly on television. His credits include NYPD Blue, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and most recently, Mixed Dish and The Passage. He's also established a podcast called Zack the Future, in which he interviews cast members and re-watches the original episodes. Number 14, Mario Lopez as AC Slater. AC Slater was an army brat before he was transferred to Bayside High. He was a natural athlete, but he also had a passion for dance. Lopez attracted a lot of attention to Bell because of his biceps, but it was his distinctive hair that caught the public's eye. I liked my hair long because I wanted to look like Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon. The now husband, father of three, and Axis Hollywood anchor told People. I didn't even know I had a mullet. From time to time, Zack and Slater fought over the females. He is most known though for his romance with Jesse. When the occasion arises, Bayside's top athlete isn't beyond ripping off his acid wash trousers and bursting into a ballet performance. Number 13, Mario Lopez Now. Lopez, like Gosselar, is a producer on Saved by the Bell as well as a regular cast member. Slater remains at Bayside but works as a gym teacher and coaches a poor football team. He's clearly flirting with Jesse as well. Lopez, on the other hand, has been quite busy since Saved by the Bell ended. He's best known for presenting shows like Extra and Access Hollywood on television. He also appeared in various TV Christmas movies and co-created and acted in the Netflix series The Expanding Universe of Ashley Garcia. Number 12, Elizabeth Berkeley as Jesse Spano. Zach's next door neighbor and fellow Bayside High student was Jesse. She was well known for her feminist beliefs and served as class president despite being defeated by Screech in the Valedictorians. Jesse's caffeine pill addiction was the show's most memorable narrative. Number 11, Elizabeth Berkeley Lauren Now. Berkeley is a prominent cast member and executive producer on the new show. Jesse has become a guidance counselor at the school as well as the mother of Jamie, a professional football player. Berkeley starred in the film Showgirls after appearing on Saved by the Bell, but unfortunately, critics blasted the film and it harmed her career. Since then, the film has gained a cult following and is often recognized as a precursor of its day. Elizabeth is most known for a controversial portrayal as Nomi Malone in the 1995 picture Showgirls. Number 10, Tiffany Thiessen as Kelly. Zach's love interest and prominent cheerleader Kelly was in the cheerleading squad. The two dated throughout the show with frequent breakups and patchups. Kelly and Zach, however, married in Las Vegas. Number 9, Tiffany Thiessen now. Tiffany Thiessen worked as a producer on the debut episode of the new show and appeared in a few scenes. Thiessen is most known for her roles in the Netflix series Alexa and Katie, hosting Dinner at Tiffany's and writing a cookbook. She's presently hosting Deliciousness, a show about culinary disasters. Number 8, Aunt Alonzo as Max. The Max, a diner frequented by Bayside High students, is owned by Max. In addition, he's a self-thought magician. The Max, one of Bayside's favorite hangout spots, had an eccentric proprietor who was always ready with wise words or a magic performance for the youngsters. Number 7, Ed Alonzo Now. Ed Alonzo has been in guest parts on a variety of series since his time on Saved by the Bell, including Modern Family. 
He has, however, mostly performed as a magician. The caring proprietor of the Max made a short cameo as Max in the relaunch, much to the delight of old school fans. Ed is most recognized for his role as Max on Full House, Murphy Brown, and America's Next Top Model, although he has also been on those shows. He's also a stand-up comedian and a professional magician who's created illusions for celebrities such as Britney Spears and Katy Perry. Number 6. Lark Voorhees as Lisa Turtle Lisa was one of the wealthiest kids at Bayside High School. Screech, a classmate who had a crush on her and pursued her throughout high school, persuaded Lisa to accompany him to the prom. Number 5. Lark Voorhees Now According to Lark Voorhees, who appears in the latest season, Lisa has become a fashion designer. Voorhees moved away from the public eye for several years after performances on several TV shows. She's the author of three books. When the reboot begins, Lark as Lisa is doing well in her career as a fashion designer. Nothing is surprising about this, actually. Although Lark is most known for her role as Lisa in Saved by the Bell, she's been in several other soap operas, including Days of Our Lives and The Bold and the Beautiful. Number 4. Dennis Haskins as Mr. Belding Mr. Belding was a well-liked high school administrator at Bayside High. He was continuously being pulled into Zach's schemes. Number 3. Dennis Haskins Now Dennis Haskins isn't part of the relaunch, although he did appear on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon alongside some of the other cast members. Haskins is still working as an actor. He was most recently seen in the Christmas film A Bennett Song Holiday. Number 2. Dustin Diamond as Screech Screech was a socially awkward nerd who was known for thwarting Zack's schemes. He had an unrequited infatuation with Lisa Turtle and his slogan was Zoinks. Scooby-Doo fans will be familiar with that one. Number 1. Dustin Diamond Now In the new series, Screech is described as an astronaut, but Dustin Diamond doesn't appear. Diamond has been involved in various issues after the end of Saved by the Bell, including the release of a tell-all book about his time in jail, which the other cast members questioned the validity of. Dustin, unfortunately, passed away on February 1, 2021 at the age of 44 from small cell cancer of the lungs. Despite the fact that Saved by the Bell ended decades ago, the B-Side High gang is still mostly friends. When Mark Paul Gosselar, Elizabeth Berkeley, Mario Lopez, and Tiffany Thiessen reunited with their wives and posted a photo of the reunion on Instagram in 2019, the fans went absolutely ballistic. So what are your best memories of Saved by the Bell? Let us know down in the comments section below, and we'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!